Uh, home in, goes up in flames in the Hamishaw Lomita neighborhood, and it looked more like a junkyard than a place where anyone would actually live. Yeah, this is a, a suspected hoarder's home, and now neighbors could be stuck with this eyesore for years. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal Sorry. joins us live from the property with what she has learned. Kelly. That's right. You know, we're at 71st in Lisbon, and I can honestly tell you guys I have not seen anything in, like this in quite a long time. Let me just show you uh, the front yard of this property. Trash everywhere. The home that burned is about 50 feet behind all of this stuff. Go ahead and take a look at some video of what the fire looked like this morning. We have the neighbors from down the street yelling at us to come outside because the house was, uh, house was on fire and it was very close to us. Uh, appears to have started in the rear of the house. There is a slope behind this property and so there was a great deal of vegetation involved and the fire did spread to underneath the house. And so you could imagine what it was like for firefighters to go into a property like this uh, with so much garbage everywhere. Neighbors say it looks like a dump out here. The fire started just after 7 this morning. And the battalion chief told us uh, it looks like the fire started in a shed toward the rear of the house. And as you heard her say, the flames spread underneath the home. Now, the good news is crews were able to get it under control quickly, and they prevented it from spreading to any of the nearby houses. Now, once the flames were out, uh, our cameras were able to get a good look inside of this property and... Just a mess everywhere, abandoned cars, trash. I'm just amazed that the firefighters prevented the flames from spreading to all of this stuff. Uh, neighbors tell me the homeowner was an elderly man whom they haven't seen in a while. I just see him like once in a blue moon. I knew his car was like a black Prius. So once I stopped seeing that, I was like, I don't know if he even lived there anymore. So we haven't seen him in over four months. Actually, um, the paramedics came from him. He was handicapped, and he had actually a bus that would always come pick him up and take him to his appointments. But since over a little four months, we haven't seen him at all. We've actually been seeing coming people coming in and out, but we thought, like, we didn't think much of it. And other uh, neighbors told us that they believe that the homeowner passed away and that there were squatters staying here at this property. Now, the property has been uh, red tagged, so it's been deemed uninhabitable. Uh, the fire department told me the damage to the home itself is just so bad. They haven't really been able to get in there to investigate. So right now, a, a cause of this fire is unknown. Heather and Carlo. Mm. Kelly, it's hard to imagine anyone could live in those conditions. Yeah. So much clutter, such a terrible mess. So what happens now? Who has to clean up that property and who has to pay for it? Yeah, I mean, and it's a little bit complicated. You know, if the homeowner did pass away, as the neighbors have said, then they would start looking for family members. And then they would have to get in touch with those family members and ask them, you know, hey, what do you want to do with this property? Now, if no one comes forward or they don't find any family members, uh, it's possible the city could con take control of this property. They could clean it up. But I'm told uh, by the contractor who is out here for the city that sometimes uh, that takes a very long time, possibly even years. Oh my goodness. You feel for the other neighbors in that neighborhood because yeah. not only is this quite the site, but it's downright dangerous too. All right, Kelly Hesedal reporting live from the Hamishal Lomita area. Kelly, thanks.